You may fuff like you think you're something special. Fuck off. Is that right? He brought all his mates, did he? My brother brought all his mates. Why don't you come and tell that to him then? Come and tell it. Come and tell it to him. You bought all your mates, my girl, apparently, according to her. Fuck off down your own street, Alana, I swear to God, no. You've got no business down here. Fuck off. Fuck off down your own street, I'm telling you now. What for? You ain't even got any business down here, so get fucking lost. Get lost. Hi, my name is Mikey Carroll. And ten years ago, I won £9.7 million on the National Lottery. And I've hit the headlines ever since. I sorted out my immediate family. I gave my mum a million pound. My aunt and uncle between them, one million pound. And my ex-wife's mum, one million pound. And I gave my sisters a three thousand each. And then I just got on with it. When we have a row of a beach harbour, we fight with the gloves on, so we're in friendship. That's it, mate. Well, how, many how many times have you say you've done it? <laughs> a lot. A lot. <laughs> and does it always solve the problem? Yeah, yeah. we have drink upwards. There's no Straight tension. Straight hands and drink afterwards. There's no tension in the air like that, is there? Okay. And do you think this is going to be good for your training ahead, or when you're going to be doing your boxing training? No, it still goes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want these. <laughs> Dickhead. <laughs> oh! Come on, darling. Yeah. <laughs> Tommy, chat is not you. Not your face, I'm a cop. <laughs> After I sorted out all my immediate family, I thought, this is me set for life. I was going to be married in March, got married, but I thought everything was fine, and then everything just went pear shaped for me. She left, and then my dog tank started. They always think of you as. So that blew all the money, but you know, you've got a better life now. <sighs> then you had people hanging on spending your money for you. You had people spending your money. Mm. Now they're gone. You've got the people that want to be near you for you. Your family's still here. Aye. Uh, people might look at you funny when you, you go certain places, don't worry about it. Well, when she left, I was drinking two bottles of vodka a day, sometimes whiskey, and then I got offered um, Uncle Charles, as they call it, and I was just having, getting high every day, all day, eating ecstasy, MDNA, acid, you name it, I've done it, and that was just um, a lifestyle for the next two, three years. So where have you spent your money? Right. Got my £335,000 mansion in Swatham. Indoor swimming pool built, touch and turn, 50000 I think. Car, £500 and kitted it up. I paid about £16,000 on it. My truck, which was, I think like £15,000, I can't remember, roughly. Bought some wheels for it, which was £12,000. Three Mitsubishi Evos, which was £28,000 each. A Mark III BMW convertible I paid for, which was £48,000. Range Rover Vogue, £48,000. Two um, hardtop M3 BMWs, which is £10,000 each. A Z4, which was £10,000, which was shit. I was usually Trooper, which was £17,000. My Jigsaw 1000 motorcycle, £6,000. Speedboat, £6,000. Jet Ski, £2,000. About £150,000 in gold. £1 million in Glasgow Rangers. I so was getting on for half a million pounds in holidays. Well, the height of my drugs, I was spending 2,000 a day, and that was just on cocaine. Prostitutes, I was spending 
about a thousand miles of dash, ain't it? <laughs> When we started going through divorce proceedings, every house I bought for men, I put them into my auntie Kelly's name, who I had the closest, one of the closest people to me at the time. And uh, this is because I didn't want to lose them to my ex-wife, and in the end, it came around and bit me straight in the ass. <laughs> Get a camera out, camera, go. Kelly. The kids are there, okay, and I'll Kelly. get the police. No, no, Ke no leave, leave the, the camera, camera. Out. No, leave the camera. Let me talk to Kelly alone. Let me talk. I'll go in, I'll go in. No, 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 no leave the camera. What would you say Kelly's relationship with Mikey was before and after the lottery? Before he won the lottery, Michael was staying there because of his tag. Um, then it got to a point where she wanted to chuck him out. And then when he won the lottery, she was totally different. She just wanted full control over him. I'm glad I moved to London because I'm here to do a fresh start, fresh slate. I left the bad boy monkey behind and now I just want to get on with life. You have three possibilities to lose weight, either with physical activity, either only with the diet, but the best thing is to combine it, yeah, mm -hmm. because then you don't have to starve yourself and then you don't have to be on your feet 12 hours a day. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. When we first started training, it was really hard and I couldn't even do one press up. And the only thing that kept me going was uh, knowing where I was drinking and everything. I'll be dead in 10 years, so, and uh, just thinking of my daughters, I kept me going. 10. Fuck oh, that. Okay, so we can use this, we we'll monitor your progression as time goes on, yeah? Make sure you're not busy. One, two. One, two. One. 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 Well, I'm looking forward to meeting Frank Bruno, so I'm working with him. One, Not getting knocked down by him, though. <laughs> Come on, let's go. The only thing that bothered me was my drink, because I love my drink, and uh, I went from down from 40 a day to one a day. So now one or two on a Friday, and sometimes not even that. And I feel healthy for it. Even my friend just come out and visit me down here and said, my skin even looks better for not drinking every day. Come press up, let's go. He's definitely going to do well. He's progressing because of the consistency that he's training at. It's his consistency, his discipline, his diet that is playing a big part in everything that's happening. Well, while I'm in London, I'm going to be training every day, which I love doing now. I'll be doing elocution lessons, so I can speak properly. <laughs> and the one thing I was dead against doing was college, but I'll give it a go, see how it goes. Hopefully I might get some brains back. <laughs> After burn them all out. <laughs>